I feel like this realization as of recent has changed so much for me. Hey guys, my eye is inexplicably My eye is inexplicably What the farts? My eye is inexplicably swollen. And my back has a pulled muscle from my tics. <laughs> Okay, well, I have to get ready to have fun. Great talk. Let's start the freaking video. I'm ready for the day now. <laughs> Rockin' with Carmelo Soprano today, proudly. No spoilers, I haven't finished the last season, but I'm on it. And I've been on it for about three years now. All right, initiating a week in my life with Tourette Syndrome to ready for a takeoff. Best transition I've ever done. <laughs> My face when Tyler buys a bowling bag and has to carry it around. Mom? Bro, you need to chill. You're freaking me out. <laughs> You're freaking me out. What's it like inside your mind, my dear? I couldn't remember the word venti, and I just told her biggest size. And look at this thing. She said Trenty. I said, I don't know what that is. But look at how big this is. Good morning, gamers. Turn this damn car on, it's cold. <laughs> All right, it's a couple of hours later now and Megan and I are getting ready to go to a movie with her friends. But I had so much fun hanging out with Tyler earlier. I had a great time driving around, but I also kind of realized while I was doing a bunch of driving, you know, my tics were going wild. And I did a video last year about how, you know, I struggle with driving anxiety. And honestly, that has gotten so much better over the past, like, I don't know, however many months. So I feel like it's not the anxiety of driving the car <laughs> that's making my tics worse but i don't really know what it is and sometimes people say to me like why do you even need to know what's making your tics worse well there's kind of like a really good reason it's to figure out how to make them not worse in the future so i need to start figuring that out but for now i'm gonna go to the movies Seeing the movie Megan with Megan. <laughs> Jeez Louise, bro. Bro, what the hell? We had to call 911. Good morning. Um, what absolute chaos last night. Thankfully, we got a temporary fix last night, but our emergency maintenance people said they were coming by this morning to like <coughs> do the more permanent fix, but it is 2 p.m. and they are not here. So we'll see about that, but today we've got some fun things we're gonna do. I'm about to head over to this market. It's like a free market. I found it online and it seems cool. I think it's kind of like a mutual aid type thing. And you go and you bring things you don't need, like so. I am mostly going there to give things rather than like get things from people. The heck? I'm about to head out to the free market thing and have a fun little day. Maybe we hit a coffee shop at some point. I don't know. It's raining. I really hope <laughs> that the free market isn't canceled. It's canceled. I guess I'll just go to the coffee shop. Which is still fun. I don't know why I look disappointed. <laughs> I got this hatch chili cheese right here. Wait, what? I'm a hatch chili girl myself. So. Are you? Are you a fan? Nice. All right. Somebody was out of commission yesterday. Somebody was. Somebody sure was. You know, I did film a clip yesterday, um, one clip, but I was a uh, local girl's tummy hurts and she's being very brave out of it. <laughs> And now, as I'm back in commission, um, Tyler and I are actually going to pickle some things tonight. 
And I didn't really drive yesterday because of the whole like food poisoning thing. Um, so maybe <laughs> I'll drive tonight and I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why my tics are like so much worse while driving recently. Don't worry, I'm being safe. I would not drive <laughs> if I thought I was putting myself or anyone else in danger. But it is still to a point where I wanna figure it out. So <laughs> time to analyze and deduce. Oh, and <laughs> have fun? Pow, okay. <laughs> Hey guy, stay in your lane, okay? Stay in your lane. Tyler, he's not staying in his lane. Hey buddy. Hey, so guess who has realized some things about their tics and driving over this week? You know, maybe things like the extreme problems with tics and driving <clears throat> recently are only one part of a big hole. Like W-H-O-L-E, not, not like a hole, like a, not like a, all right, okay. I made a note in my notes app earlier this week because like, I don't know, I do stuff like that. I don't know, kind of cool, Gen Z of me. But essentially it was one of my little thoughts, my thoughts of my wisdoms of me saying like, sometimes I get really ticky when I'm doing something and then I keep pushing through to finish doing the thing and then the ticks just keep getting worse, what? And you know, as the week went on, I started to realize that like that note and the sentiment with it has a lot to do with my tick getting worse in the car. And then I've also been feeling this way a lot lately with all sorts of things. So maybe that's confusing, but I've been thinking about it and let me explain. I think, um, well, I'm pretty certain that I have been really sensitive to sensory overload and overstimulation recently. Too much sensory input has not been my friend. I started doing things while driving that like I feel like reduces sensory input, like removing my belt. Well, not my, not my seatbelt, that would be <laughs> No, I mean like my, my belt. And I remove like my accessories and jewelry and stuff, anything that like I can feel on my body, you know, without getting completely naked in the car. And I've been turning down the music as needed and I will turn on my like white noise-esque defrost, even when I don't really need it. Doing all of this, it like reduces a bunch of sensory input and it really helps. And like I kind of mentioned before, I also started paying attention to this with other things. I'd rightfully say, uh, that when my ticks get bad out of nowhere, it's actually like coming from somewhere. And a lot of times when I think it's from nowhere, it's really from being overstimulated. So like when I'm working, I've realized that it actually feels better uh, to have like white noise instead of music or a video on in the background when I'm thinking really hard, which is a lot of work. I'm actually really important and I think real good on the job. <laughs> I thought real good about thinking real good, <laughs> yeah. But also I love having um, music or TV on in the background of me doing something that doesn't require intense thought or effort. I feel like this realization as of recent has changed so much for me. You know, I'm beginning to pay attention to what overstimulates me and also paying attention to like what I can do to feel less, you know, sensory overloaded. Ooh. So even though I may feel like I just stepped on this really important step, you know, it's really cool to have stepped on it at all. And hey, you folks should leave comments about, you know, like either what, <laughs> LOL ring light, either what like overstimulates you with your tics to kind of help me on my journey of realizing for myself or also what you do to help yourself become less overstimulated and sensory overloaded. That's my new term. Is that a term? Sensory overloaded? Whoa, my camera. Oh, and also um, you should subscribe. And thanks Twitches. Bye.